Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. We got Mr. Welker. Thomas Craig Welker. That's correct. <laughs> Mr. Welker, you have a number of indictments. One of them is a violation of an order of protection or restraining order. Another case in 2023 CR 55, you have a charge of failure to appear. And CR 56, you have a charge of uh, criminal trespass. You're here to be arraigned on all of those charges. You have the right to an attorney. Do you want a lawyer to represent you? Sir, that's all perjury. Dude, this is not the trial. This is the arraignment. This is to, to get all your affairs uh, taken care of, such as getting a lawyer and everything like that. It's, you're skipping way too far ahead. So my suggestion to you is invest in a lawyer. Because I don't think you'll do very well on pro se, given what I've seen so far. My somebody in my family they leaked my Marine Seal app. I've got this I'm satellite interface, and I'm under military bylaws under maritime law. You know, I've never heard it called military bylaws. In fact, I've always heard it called uh, the UCMJ, the Uniform Code of Military Justice which is not exactly maritime law. So if you were ever in the military, you should know that. But right now I'm guessing that you're civilian, so you should be under the uh, civilian law, which is not maritime law either. And this facility will not let me contact anybody. My attorney to contact is TVA senior attorney Tom, Ro Tom Robbins, and all the federal officers and everybody knows this to be true. They uh, down at Tennessee Valley Authority, the Fort Campbell Eagle Club has had me kept down there to hold SEAL Team 6 account open. Ever since uh, SEAL Team 6 took out Osama bin Laden back in 2011, it seems like there's a bunch of people that say they are a part or had something to do with SEAL Team uh, 6, which... I doubt anybody who would uh, have anything to do with SEAL Team 6 would ever admit to it anyway, because you know what? Secrecy and all that. So I'm beginning to suspect that you could be a case of stolen valor as well as a complete loony softard. It comes with city through the TFC. I just spent a half a year over here without anybody allowing me to call out in the past two and a half years. I'm the one that's all over this website, Swamp Dog, the Swamp Dog, when I put it out there. I'm the one that's helping Donald Trump get elected, and he's done the 45 days in jail. Uh, dude, I think it's a bit too late for you to be helping Donald Trump get elected as president, because that was more than two years ago by this point. So, uh, I don't know where your brain is at. Out of 45 minutes, like they had me here a couple weeks ago, messing with me. They prevented me to have representation and everything to prove my sister has committed perjury and everything has been stacked upon me. Basically, I use this technology to watch me die in my house, and I found the file on my cell phone. I'm the original files abuse scandal where they lied about my family medical leave act form and turned it into having me watched as a harm and threat to myself and, my, and safety of others, and that's, a, that's false information. Well, every, every attorney in there that has tried to talk for me has left me hanging and never came back. Well, I can understand why, given what I've seen here, because you obviously have a few screws loose. And I guess as a result of that, uh, the attorneys don't exactly want anything to do with you. And I don't really blame them. Every one of them. 
And uh, it's all false. Any reason you cannot assist this individual? Your Honor, I've been attempted to assist him a few times, and he, he has not been able to meaningfully participate in the emergency. So I'm, I've been sealed out since I've been 10 years old. I'm the I'm <laughs> million heart and Jesse James identity and count. That's my family. Over the, out of the Dover Bottoms from the Ryman Auditorium. Old Navy, American Eagle, Gab clothes, Apple computers. General Motors have been franchised out since I've been 10. And my family tried to get me 22 PTSD'd out. Right. And they've been messing with me. They've been committing perjury and false charges to steal my inheritance, my part of it, because they leaked my seal out. out. The... Uh, so let me ask you this question. I'm trying to find out, you know, I'm trying to arraign you on a charge, these charges, which means I have to advise you of these charges. So I want you to listen to me as I tell you what these charges are, okay? You just, just sit tight. I'm going to tell you what the charges are against you, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do. <clears throat> In docket number 20, 23, CR 56, you have a case of uh, charge of criminal trespass. It states in the circuit court for Stewart County, Tennessee at Dover, May term of the grand jury 2023. The grand jurors of Stewart County, Tennessee, duly impaneled and sworn upon their oaths do present that on or about February the 22nd, 2023 in Stewart County, Tennessee, and prior to the finding of this indictment, Thomas Craig Welker, then and there unlawfully and knowingly entered on or remained on property of Brandy Page, knowing that at the time he did not have the effective consent of the said Brandy Page to do so, in violation of Tennessee Code Annotated 3914405, a Class C misdemeanor and against the peace and dignity of the state of Tennessee. In <clears throat> docket number 2023 CR 55, <clears throat> you have a charge, an indictment charging you in two counts with failure to appear. And it states in the circuit court for Stewart County, Tennessee, and at Dover May term grand jury 2023. The grand jurors of Stewart County, Tennessee, duly impaneled and sworn upon their oaths do present that on or about February the 7th, 2023, in Stewart County, Tennessee, prior to the finding of this indictment, Thomas Craig Welker, then and there, unlawfully and knowingly failed to appear in the General Sessions Court for Stewart County, Dover, Tennessee, as directed by the Stewart County General Sessions Court. For the purpose of attending an official proceeding to win a hearing on the offense of violation of an order of protection, a violation of TCA 3916-3609, a Class A misdemeanor and against the peace and dignity of the state of Tennessee. <clears throat> Beat count two, and the grand jurors aforesaid upon the roads aforesaid do further present and say that on or about April 4th, 2023, and prior to the finding of this indictment, in the county and state aforesaid, that Thomas Craig Welker then and there and lawfully and knowingly failed to appear in General Sessions Court for Stewart County, as directed uh, by the Stewart County General Sessions Court for the purpose of attending an official proceeding to win a hearing on the offense of failure to appear in violation of order protection, criminal trespass in violation of TCA 3916-609, a Class A misdemeanor, all of which is against the peace and dignity of the state of Tennessee. In docket number 2023 CR 54, you're charged with uh, the offense <clears throat> of violation of an order of protection. It alleges that in the circuit court for Stewart County, Tennessee at Dover May term grand jury 2023, this grand jury is the state of Stewart County, Tennessee duly impaneled and sworn upon their oath to present that on or about November the 4th, 2022 in Stewart County, Tennessee. Prior to the finding of this indictment, Thomas Craig Welker then and there did unlawfully, intentionally and knowingly commit the offense of violation of an order of protection issued pursuant to TCA 3636, or a restraining order issued to a party who is a victim, to wit, Thomas Welker and Rita Welker, in violation of TCA 3913-113, a Class A misdemeanor, all of which is against the peace and dignity of the state of Tennessee. Now, <clears throat> all of that, I am uh, going to enter a plea of not guilty to on you and uh, show that you've been arraigned now. So the question becomes, I want to uh, try to provide you with an attorney since you are in custody. Do you still, do you wish to have a lawyer represent you? TVA Senior Attorney Thomas Robbins. Well, 
TVA senior attorney uh, is not likely to take a criminal appointment from this court. You can contact him and try to yourself and try to see if I can't see. contact from here. They stacked this upon me because I'm not allowed in the courtroom because no cameras are allowed. I had no privacy. I'm Delta forced out since I've been 10. Delta forced out since you were 10. Uh, what does that mean anyway? I mean, it sounds like you were uh, trying to say that you were in the Delta force at the age of 10, but I'm not entirely sure about that. At any rate, uh, you're not going to be in the Delta Force or any special forces or even in the military at the age of 10, at least not in the U.S. military. I know some militaries around the world may have you at 10, but not the United States military. My sister and him took advantage of it. She committed perjury. I done been to the grand jury to help me with this back in like 2015 and 16. And they know what's going on and nobody would help. She's committed perjury. She's the one who got this started. It's all false. I've been denied anybody to help me. Everybody says, I know what you're talking about, but I can't help you. The 160th Night Stalkers know it. Fifth Group NSA with the Pentagon clearance said it's your family. I ain't said any names. If you mean arraignment is in, I get an attorney and get to go home and prepare, that's fine. It's false information they're giving you because they leaked me out. And the whole town, my whole class since 1978 knows I've been signed up for the Secret Service under Sons of American Revolution, 1976, based on 200 years. Okay, according to you, you were in the Special Forces at 10 years old. And uh, now you saying that you were in the Secret Service. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. And they took advantage of it for the past 30 years. My whole class knows it. I've been written off. And the only thing I've been told is when you've been written off, you can't be charged no crimes because you can't get legal representation under military bylaws. And they took advantage of it. They stole my trust fund. I was having NRA to set up when I was helping, when I was supporting Donald Trump. And my sister has hijacked everything. And my cousins, they're in on it. And they have forced their parents, except for one, Mike and Frieda Ford. And my aunt, she worked for all the judges in that courthouse. I grew up in that courthouse. My mother was a tax assessor. Bill Clinton's daddy, his guy, they got a lot of money in me. I've been hanging out with him forever. You remind me of another guy I know uh, who thinks he's a superhero and that ninjas can destroy entire armies. I mean, he's just as much of a psychopath as you are. And I've heard him make claims that he is involved or was involved with Melania Trump or one of uh, Donald Trump's daughters. And he's been making claims uh, about his relationship with presidents since he was uh, a graduate in high school in 1985. The dude was born in 1970 and claims to be the uh, illegitimate child of John F. Kennedy, who was assassinated in 1963. So, yeah, I've heard those kinds of stories from people like you before. You're all nuts. If you stock yards from Katie's. This is deep. I can't get this Stewart County Craigs facility over here to help me because they want to make a mockery about everything and laugh at what I'm talking about because all the founders of Dover who knows the truth, are now deceased. And everybody's taking advantage of it. I'm supposed to be sealed out in secret service for the president, and they've had me down here to hold this account open based on them two girls they got murdered in LBL in 1980. They've been renaming me every time I survive an accident. I don't need to be in here. I need to be pursuing getting this fixed. You need to have them to be questioned on it. They never would cross-examine it. Every time I allow. I've muted him so that I can try to, I've muted you so that I can try to uh, find out about a legal representation for you. Ms. Clemens, I'm going to point your office because I think it's the only thing I can do. And we'll enter a plea of not guilty, show he's been arraigned, and let's go ahead and set a trial date. September 13th. September? Yes, sir. That's judgment. Wallace or? Judge Lockett, Judge Lockett, Matt, good. September what? 13th. 13th. Last day to enter plea will be September the 11th. Well, just like us, the judge has heard enough of his BS and decided to make a uh, 
judgment call in this particular scenario just by entering a plea and moving on without him. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, thanks for watching.